Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video is going to be one of many uploads that I do in the future where I address viewer questions. Today's video is going to have all to do with shedding and one of the questions I got was would, in, would cows in the wild need to be trimmed? Why don't we ever see that in the wild? Another question I get all the time is why does that foot have holes in the bottom of it? Well today we're going to dig through all those questions and we're going to answer them for you. To start out this topic of hoof shedding, we're going to look at one of the most common feet that you see me trim on the on this channel, and that is a fr what is called a freestall cow's foot. Now, freestall cows live in a barn where the conditions on the floor tend to always be wet. In that case, the foot is going to absorb a lot of water. When that happens, it's going to stay hydrated all the time, and natural shedding doesn't happen. When we talk about shedding, we're talking about the natural forces that make a uh, cow's foot and hoof loosen up and release from the cow. This is why in the wild, animals don't typically need any type of inter intervention from a human. The natural environment allows the hoof to, as it grows, when it gets, um, as it grows out, it will shed, begin to break apart and loosen up on its own um, naturally. These cows, because they're inside a lot and because their feet uh, stay wet, they don't go through that natural shedding process. The upside to that is that hoofs tend to be nice and uniform. They tend to be thicker, so I have a lot more to work with so I can sculpt that sole to get it exactly how I want. The obvious downside is they get long and they need more intervention. They need more trimmings in a given year. The next foot we're going to look at is a cow that spends about half of her time indoors on cement and the other half out on pasture. As you can see toward the toe section there, you can see some of that hoof has released and is starting to fall away. That's the shedding process that we're talking about. Only in this case, it's not complete. Generally speaking, the more time a cow can spend outside and off of concrete, the better it is for their feet. When we can't, when we get incomplete shedding, however, the sole becomes uneven and that can cause issues. The obvious next question is, is, well, why then just not have cows on pasture all the time? And that sounds great in theory, but in the north, especially where we live in Wisconsin, the climate just doesn't allow that. About six months of the year, the ground is frozen, it's uneven, and you can end up with injuries. Because cows need to have then uh, permanent housing for those winter months, they tend to get used year round as well, so they, ha they spend less time outdoors. If you look closely at this foot, you'll see some areas what look like some flakiness in there. That is a telltale sign of hoof shedding, and it's exactly what we want to see. The way hoof shedding works is as a foot uh, absorbs water and then dries out and absorbs water and dries out, the layers of sole begin to, to basically disintegrate. They begin to break apart and fall away. In nature, that's what we want. We want that foot to slowly... Uh, break away and new hoof to replace it and leave that sole a little thicker. That's also the when I'm trimming what I what I go by as far as depth is when I is called the pith basically is that layer that comes away. If I've still got that I know I've got plenty of sole underneath and that's what I use to judge how deep my sole needs to be. This next foot is a prime example of hoof shedding in action. This is a cow that spent all of her time indoors during the winter, so her feet have actually dried out. And now she's going outside, it's springtime, and as, the, as her foot takes on moisture from the pasture and then dries out and takes on moisture from the pasture, this hoof begins to fall away. The sole is disintegrating, but if you notice, the outside wall of the hoof remains. That is the, a much more uh, tougher, uh, form of hoof. This inside sole you can see there it's just powdery. It's almost uh, just it's basically disintegrating and falling away. Now there's obvious downsides of this at this point which is why we trim them. Because this outside wall is there it can break off and actually break off in the wrong spots. So in the spring we like to trim these cows get this all trimmed up nice before we send them out to pasture. That way we avoid any of these jagged edges and stuff uh, breaking off on their own in the wrong places and ended up causing some lameness. 
These cows here are actually tie stall cows, meaning they spend uh, their times in individual stalls in the barn in the winter. And then as they are let out in the spring, the reverse actually happens as it would in a, in a free stall cow. While a free stall cow's feet are wet all the time, tie stall cows tend to be dry. So when tie stall cows go outside, they're actually going to pick up moisture, which is why this shedding process happens. For a free stall cow, going outside is actually a drier environment which will allow the shedding process to happen. It's almost like an equilibrium point in the middle where the drying and the uh, hydrating of a hoof cause that breaking apart action. The last couple feet we're going to look at are from a cow that spends the majority of her time on pasture and has completed the entire shedding process all on her own. As you can see, this foot is nearly perfectly balanced, straight across, toe length is right. She's done that all on her own, no help from humans. And this is why in nature, cows don't need to be trimmed or animals uh, in general don't need to be trimmed in nature. They've got this process built right into their feet. The only downside is you can see on this foot, some of that outside wall has broken away in a spot where we didn't want it. That's the downside of it. But in this case, there's no lameness created from that. It's not what I would have done as a trimmer, but that's how uh, feet trim naturally on their own. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully I've uh, answered this question thoroughly enough, and we'll see you guys on the next one.